Yes, welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on Lockdown Wednesday here in Melbourne. Of course, uh, let's turn our attention to the uh, the MPL in particular and of course with the 16s side of things. And of course, we've got a very special guest on the show. Of course, she's from, she plays for Southern United. Of course, her name's Georgia. She joins us right now. Thanks, Georgia, for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Um, obviously, it's been a bit of an up and down year uh, for obviously everyone, but especially for yourselves, because I think you start the season with at least playing the first couple of games before the lockdown. Um, I guess how strange has this year been for you, uh, but, but obviously for the rest of the team? Um, it's been very hard because obviously not playing soccer with the girls is a bit hard and staying away from them and not training with them and playing games with them is very weird. You're new to the team, uh, I believe. Yeah. Remember says me correct. Um, tell us, how's, how was the adjustment uh, going into an, a completely new team? Um, at the start, I was a bit nervous, but once I got to know the girls and they introduced me to everyone and they were very welcoming, um, yeah, it was really good. Now, I know, obviously, about your amazing coach at Southern, um, Deb. Tell us a bit about uh, Deb and how special she's been uh, throughout your Southern journey so far up to this point. Um, she's a very good coach, very hard. Um, she treats us all with respect um, and she's very supportive to, with all of us girls. A bit about the team this year uh, and for you, slotting into the team, um, How's, tell us a bit about your amazing teammates. Um, they all were very welcoming and all introduced themselves and straight away I felt very welcomed and felt like I knew the girls for a while and they're great girls to train and play with. Min, we mentioned before about the stop, start, stop, start has been so far for the team and obviously for everyone else, uh, especially that started before the first lockdown happened. Uh, now, obviously, yeah, yeah. you just played the first couple of games, then obviously got locked down, and you just were back at training, and then sort of had a bit of a little game before the lockdown happened again. Um, how, I guess, for, for the team, how did you try to adjust to um, the stop-start so far? Um, well, we played the first four games and then did a few training sessions, then stopped. And then over that time, most of the girls have been going out by themselves and having a kick of the ball and going for a run and uh, doing like personal training stuff um, during the break and then back to training for a few sessions. And then now another lockdown, um, most of the girls have probably been training at home or going to for like for runs and all that. How was the team travelling uh, through the first four games? Um, we are travelling pretty well um, because it was just the start of the season. We are still getting used to the new play um, uh, because of us few new girls and all that. We're starting to get used to each other a bit more. But now that the break is still going, um, we haven't re really been playing any games, so we're not really 100% sure how each other play still. For you, what have you been doing in isolation in regards to football-wise that um, to keep yourselves still in fitness and uh, and ready to go once hopefully the season gets back underway? Um, so the first lockdown, um, uh, we did uh, me and my little sister did personal training up in Melbourne at Seven Four Seven Fitness with Costa Drac. Um, uh, for and we did that every Saturday for an hour, fifteen times, and then we down here um, we were train. we lately we've been training with an under 14s NPL boys team for Gippsland, um, as we cannot go down to Melbourne and train, and we've also been training with the under 16 Gippsland girls. Now you mentioned you're based out there at Gippsland, so obviously the restrictions, uh, I guess, doesn't exist in regards to lockdowns um, at the moment down at Gippsland. 
for you, and you mentioned yeah. that you're playing with the with the boys and the girls um, out there at Gippsland. Yeah. Uh, for you, what? How accommodating had they been, knowing that uh, obviously you don't normally play for them? Um, they've been very welcoming. Um, I did play with them uh, last year and the year before that, so I, I was very welcomed into play, uh, training with both teams. Um, uh, as I knew, like the coaches of a few of the players in each team. And how's the training been uh, with them? The training has been uh, for the boys. It's been very um, upskilled since their MPL as well, um, uh, and the coaches have been um, very welcoming and uh, pushing me hard. Now you might as well give them a bit of a shout out, considering uh, they've let you. Uh, train with them. Uh, tell us a bit about the, you know, the two amazing coaches there at Gippsland that's let you uh, train with them. Um, with so the under-14s coach for the NPR boys is Peter Boyce. And uh, there's, um, for the under-16 girls, that's Anouk. So how did you get involved in the world game and why did you choose it? Um, well, I started off in 2016 and I started playing in under 12s for just a local side and I just grew a love for the sport and I've been playing ever since then. What will be some football highlights throughout your journey so far? Um, in 2019, I was the first under 16 Gippsland girls captain for the team. Um, uh, I got Coach's Award for um, uh, 2019 um, with the Gippsland girls as well. We, in under 12s, my first year, we won our zone and then we come second in the whole region area. What position do you play on the field? And if you had a preferred position where you took convincing coaches to put you, where would that be? Um, I... I play two positions. I play centre defence and left full back and uh, I'm pretty happy in them positions. Uh, what's the best thing about playing in defence? Um, I just like having a go and, uh, you know, showing what I'm made of and going up against like the forward players from the other teams and I like having a challenge. Now, obviously, the grand announcement uh, two, three weeks ago with the uh, the World Women's World Cup coming to Australia uh, in 2023. For you, how strong was that to hear that, uh, you know, you're going to get, obviously, the games uh, here in Melbourne, uh, which is fantastic for all the women's soccer fans. Uh, when you heard that announcement, how special was that for you, knowing that uh, you might be able to get to see some world-class players? Yeah, I was very excited when I heard the news. Um, I was just telling my dad that we've got to go watch some of the games. Is there one particular team that you would love to watch? Australia. Fair enough. Uh, do you have a favorite, yeah. Do you have a favorite Matildas player? Um, Steph Catley, probably. Fair enough, that's a very good choice. Uh, now, for you, what does the world game mean to you now, and especially being there at Southern? Well, now that I think about it, that I'm happy what sport I've chosen and that I'm always up for a challenge and playing with new girls and meeting new people and meeting new coaches and just giving it a hot go. Uh, obviously, stepping into a MPL women's program, uh, obviously now they've gone back to VPL women's, but uh, obviously for the junior side of things, they're still in the MPL. Uh, how special yeah. is that for you? Um, it's pretty special because knowing that I'm good enough for an MPL team and that I showed coaches like how I play, like I did good enough to get through to like the rest of the, all the stages. Now, for you coming from Gippsland, uh, obviously it's a long travel to get into Melbourne, and especially obviously Southern's uh, venue there at Caram Downs. Um, I guess, what 
what does that mean for you, um, Ben? Obviously, I think you're one of a couple of players from down there in Gippsland uh, to travel to Melbourne. Yeah. Um, what does it mean to you to travel all that way from Gippsland to play um, the top tier competition uh, here in Victoria? Um, to be honest, I don't really mind the travel um, because I know that I'm coming down there to play a great sport with a great bunch of girls. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't really mind the travel. Have you tried to convince any of your uh, former Gippsland teammates to... Uh, yeah, I have. Doing it. Um, I'm the only one from the under 16s from down here. Um, but my little sister is um in the under 14s, and sorry, is one of the other girls from down here. Now, uh, we'll talk a bit about your little sister in just a moment. Um, yeah. For short or long term goals in the sport of the world game. Well, I would like to get as high as I possibly can and I just really want to play for a very long time. And what will be your advice to our viewers or listeners out there that should get involved in the world game once we all get out of COVID um, and uh, hopefully get down to Southern United? Um, uh, just, you know, go out there, have fun and... Uh, you know, give it your best go. And if you fall down, just get back up and don't forget to protect your feet because your feet's the most important part of a soccer player. And I mentioned about uh, your little sister just a moment ago. Uh, tell us yep. uh, who plays in the 14s team, which is how special is to play and travel with your little sister to play the same sport that both of you love? And who's the better footballer out of you two? Um, I love having I love having her around with me and come down with me because I know that she loves the sport as well as I do and that I've got a little sister there that I can help and support and I reckon I'm the better football player. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. And and of course it'd be missing me to ask this question. Uh, obviously your parents and your family um how important they've been to take you uh, almost over an hour, two hours to get to Melbourne uh, to play a game that you love? Yeah, they're very, very supportive and uh, they don't mind the travel either. And uh, yeah, they're all there for me and my little sister and like all very supportive. Let's finish up with a couple of lighthearted questions about your team now, because I'll get the yeah. chance to talk to you through your other teammates uh, later on this week. Uh, who's the comedian in the team? Probably Talia. She's she's a pretty she's pretty funny. Um, same with Denitza, but all the girls are fun to be around. I had a feeling it might have been Talia or Denitza. Um, yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the other years I've interviewed the team. Um, yeah. there, now I know there's this thing called TikTok um, <laughs> at the moment. Um, how are your teammates? Who's doing the most uh, TikToks in regards to dancing and singing and all that sort of thing? Oh, I'm not too sure because I don't really get on TikTok as <laughs> much as I used to. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, is there one? Particular or couple couple players that just absolutely make you laugh. Probably Denitza. <laughs> uh, obviously, with you travelling from Gippsland into Melbourne um, to play games, um, do you have a pre-game um, superstition or ritual? Um, no, I don't really have one. I just get my gear on and just get out there ready to play. <laughs> Oh, Georgia, thank you so much for joining us. It's awesome having you on the show. Obviously, we would love to be talking a bit about more about the season, how the team is trailing, obviously, uh, under one of the best coaches in the competition. And uh, hopefully you can get back on the field soon uh, once uh, we all get out of COVID. Uh, it was not this year, next year in particular, and hopefully uh, for the Southern uh, you can uh, start making that uh, climb up the line and hopefully win another premiership. But uh, if it's not in 2020, uh, 2021. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. No worries. And that's Georgia there. Joins uh, there from the Sun United uh, Football Club, of course. Make sure you get down there.
to Karen Downs. Uh, once we all get our lockdown and uh, post COVID and uh, get down and support the, the girls down there at Southern. There's more on the Smashboard show right after this. Don't go away here on Lockdown Wednesday.